before moving on to the next question some things that you need to know listen carefully sir there are few things that you need to know this i already discussed in my di class also data interpretation also this i discussed because it was extremely useful there here also it is required now see here sir suppose let me give some values for a and b suppose a is 50 just some examples i am taking so that i can explain you with numerical values b is 40 suppose your first question is what is what is what is a percentage of what is a percentage of b suppose this is the first question second question is a is a is what percentage of a is what percentage of b third question b is what percentage of a b is what percentage of a Suppose, let us take these three questions initially and then we will solve another one or two questions for the same logic. Now see here sir, very very simple logic. There are only two variables, one variable is A which the value is given as 50, another variable is B where the value is given as 40. Now there are only two variables, what I will only say you is, there is something written as off here, right, there is something written as off. Off is nothing but direct comparison. That is something which you need to remember. Off is nothing but direct comparison. Sir, what is the meaning of this direct comparison? Simple. What is A percentage of B? You don't need to take it as X and all those things and waste your time. Simple language. Whatever is coming after off. Whatever the variable which is coming after off that should come in the denominator what is coming after off in the first question b is coming after off in the first question that b value should come in the denominator simple way of remembering b value should come in the denominator then sir then what is the numerator numerator is nothing but directly write the other variable that is the reason i wrote here off is nothing but a direct comparison that means directly write the other variable in the numerator your numerator is nothing but the other variable a similarly second question what is coming after of b is coming and because of is given in the question directly write the other variable in the numerator again second question is a by b a by b is nothing but 50 by 40 50 by 40 is 5 by 4 5 by 4 is nothing but 125 percentage right so that is something which i am not teaching you here b is what percentage of a after of which variable is coming a is coming so a is coming keep that a in the denominator direct because it is off directly write the other variable in the numerator other variable is b so it is 40 by 50 4 by 5 4 by 5 is 80 percentage now this is when off is given in the question suppose for example your question is your question is a is a is what percentage a is what percentage more than b a is what percentage more than b now listen carefully sir very very interesting another learning from this question of what we learnt off is nothing but direct comparison here i am getting than than is nothing but difference comparison simple sir off is direct comparison than is difference comparison simple way of remembering off is nothing but direct comparison than is nothing but difference comparison that means here also same thing whatever is coming after than should come in the denominator write that b in the denominator because b is coming after than what should be numerator numerator you should not write directly the other variable because question is not given in terms of of question is given in terms of than than means a difference comparison that means numerator should be the difference of a and b whichever is greater write it first so it is a minus b i believe that the idea is clear right a minus b by b so it is nothing but 10 divided by 40 1 by 4 is 25 percent suppose if your question is b is b is 
what percentage less than a b is what percentage less than a same logic after than whatever is coming put it in the denominator write a in the denominator than is nothing but difference comparison numerator should be the difference of a and b which is greater a value is greater than b in the question so numerator is a minus b simple two to three statement that you need to remember is whatever comes after of or whatever comes after than please write it in the denominator that is the first point second point is whenever it is of numerator is a direct comparison directly write the other variable which is not written whenever the question is given in terms of than numerator will represent the difference comparison where it is greater number minus the smaller number now this is something which you need to know how to use this key point in our problem solving now see here sir two vessels contain mixture of milk and water that means there are two vessels mixture of milk and water is present in both the vessels okay that is what we understood milk and water mixture so this is mixture one this is mixture two if i write like my previous question now in the next statement in first mixture milk is 31.25 percentage less than water that means let me write it here they are saying that in the first mixture milk is milk is 31.25 percentage less than water less than water that means can i say that milk is 31.25 percentage 31.25 first of all for your information it is 5 into 6.25 percentage 6.25 i taught you in my fraction to percentages as 1 by 16 5 into 1 by 16 is it is 5 by 16 that means milk is 5 by 16 less than water milk is 5 by 16 less than water can i say like this sir can i say that whatever is coming after than water is coming after than that should represent the denominator that means the denominator is representing water parameter water parameter is 16 water parameter is 16 now because it is than than is nothing but difference comparison numerator represents the difference between milk and water difference between milk and water is 5 units that means can i say that milk is water is 16 units water is 16 units and milk is less than water so you can get it out sir milk can be 16 minus 5 which is 11 or milk can be 16 plus 5 which is 21 there also difference is 5 only but milk is less or in simple language can i say if you are getting confused with that kind of statement milk is denominator is water 16 milk is 16 less less is nothing but from 16 there is a decrease of 5 from 16 if i decrease by 5 milk value will be 11 so milk is 11 water is 16 that is your mixture 1 see the second statement and in mixture 2 the difference between quantity of milk and water is 11.11 percentage of total mixture that means in mixture 2 the difference between quantity of milk and water they are saying that the difference is difference is 11.11 percentage of total mixture 11.11 percentage is nothing but 1 by 9 the meaning of 1 by 9 is denominator whatever is coming after of that should come in the denominator so total represents 9 totally 9 liters of mixture is present of is direct comparison that means numerator will represent the other parameter other parameter in this question is nothing but a difference between milk and water that means milk and water difference should be how much it should be one can i say that total it should be nine difference it should be one total it should be nine difference it should be one that means so milk will be five water will be four 
then only the total is 9 5 plus 4 and the difference of milk and water is 5 minus 4 1 so milk is 5 water is 4 some of the tricky questions sir i am believing that you are understanding all these methodologies now read the next statement again the next statement is if 10.5 liters of first mixture and 7.5 liters of second mixture is mixed that means they are saying that 10.5 liters of first mixture and 7.5 liters of second mixture is mixed or in other words can i say the statement as the mixture 1 and mixture 2 are mixed in the ratio of 10.5 liters is to 17.5 liters 10.5 is 3.5 into 3 17.5 is 3.5 into 5 that means in our previous question they were saying directly as the both the mixtures are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 5 instead of saying like that directly they are indirectly saying as if 10.5 liters of mixture 1 and 17.5 liters of mixture 2 is mixed so you can convert it like this as the two mixtures mixture 1 and mixture 2 are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 5 then find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture now i already taught you how to find this kind of a problem solving can i say that can i say that 11 plus 16 is totally 27 let me write here sir 11 plus 16 is totally 27 5 plus 4 is totally 9 so but 27 and 9 they are not equal but they should make it they, you should make it in the ratio of 3 to 5 first of all make them as equal ratio 27 and 9 should become equal so make it as 27 27 into 1 is 27 9 into 3 is 27 now 27 into 1 27 9 into 3 is also 27 you made it equal ratio but they should not they are not asking you to make it equal they are asking you to mix it in the ratio of 3 is to 5 multiply first one by 3 second one by 5 if i further simplify this ratio 3 and 3 will cancel that means this 27 you should multiply only with 1 or in other words 11 is to 16 you should multiply with 1 it is 11 is to 16 this 9 you should multiply only with 5 or this 5 is to 4 you should multiply with 5 5 into 5 is 25 4 into 5 is 20 the resultant mixture is 11 plus 25 is 36 and then 16 plus 30 20 is also 36 the new mixture is having the ratio of 36 is to 36 which is 1 is to 1 very very excellent questions being solved in the most easiest way possible